media hardly pays attention, and those living thousands of miles away in Gaza cannot hear our voices over the sounds of drone strikes. Can the Israeli government hear our cries? Do they care? The answer is no. In the world we live in today, dominated by capital pursuit, the power of the dollar sign carries more weight than do the cries of a thousand protesters. Make no mistake, while ideology is driving the occupation and the siege, it is money that enables the perpetuation of Israeli apartheid. I am sick and tired of listening to your one-sided reporting. It's an occupation. The Holocaust happened to the Jews and now they're doing it right back to the Palestinians. I think that's completely wrong. Right now, it, it, right now, it always seems that the media is trying to portray um, the conflict or so-called conflict as, an, as a balanced, equal fight. Um, it is not. There is an oppressor and there's, there's, there's clearly an oppressor and an oppressed. Um, it seems as though the media is biased always um, towards, uh, towards the Israeli government. Um, this is due to multiple factors, uh, but right here, you know, we're here today to pressure, pressure the media, pressure, you know, uh, U.S. citizens to take a stand and say that, you know, the, this this news that we're watching, we need to be hearing about what's going on. And we need to be hearing the Palestinian story and the Palestinians narrative. It's been going on for years. Obviously, you obviously know that um, Palestine's been under attack. People have been losing houses. Lands have been taken over. I mean, it's gotten to this far. And actually, right now, what's going on over there is probably the worst that we've seen ever. Civilian population. We call on the U.S. to stop. 